looking for the cheapest Xbox and PlayStation accounts, then go check out the link in the description below and use my code GOON for 5% off. What's up guys, Goonies to here, bringing you another Team of the Season play review, and today it is Team of the Season Patrick Herman, the German winger. So there's a quick look at the squad that I played him in alongside other Team of the Seasons as well. Remember guys, 200 likes would be amazing, make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. So as you take a look at him, what you'll see, he's 5'10", high attacking, medium defensive work rate, right footed, freestyle weak foot and freestyle skills, cost me 100k, played 8 games, got me 7 goals and 4 assists as well. So how's he compared to his regular card? Well his pace has gone up by 7, dribbling by 10, defending by 8, passing by 12 and shooting and physical both going up by 14 overall, which is absolutely an outstanding upgrade right there. And then the strength is disappointing at 61, but then sprint speed is absolutely amazing at 99, agility is right up there as well, and acceleration at 96, so this guy is absolutely rapid. Definitely can see why he's got that 98 pace as well. And then the skill attributes, it's all about the shooting as well, which is fantastic, and also the dribbling ability as well. That's what you're going to get from this guy, because he's maxed out with pace and dribbling, can only play on the right wing, weighs 154 pounds as well. And in terms of stat tier, speedster, dribbler, crosser, acrobat, the specialities, and outside foot shot as traits. So what are my expectations of this card? Well, to be fair, I didn't know much about this guy, even though he's had a couple of informs, he was off my radar, and then I saw that 98 pace and I thought, hey, hello, let's try this guy out and see what this guy is all about. So what are you going to get from this guy? Well, this guy's absolutely rapid, as the stats would suggest. This guy is lightning quick. He's going to get up and down the pitch in a flash. He's not as quick as a Bamiyang, but he's right up there. And you know what? He's got a few skills about as well. Freestyle skills are enough to get by in this game. And also, his shooting isn't too bad, and his dribbling's decent as well. If you make him cut inside on his right foot, he's able to finish and beat the keeper. He's got decent long shots, but they're a little bit inconsistent, but they were still decent as well. But once he gets in the box, he's very likely to finish the ball off and he's got the ability as well to get into the right positions, which is absolutely amazing. He has the high attack and work rate, so he does make those forward runs well. The one thing that I don't like about this card is how weak it is. It's not the strongest card out there at all, so he is going to get bullied. But if you're out on the right wing coming up against left backs, then it's not too bad at all. And he's definitely able to offer you a lot going forwards. And of course, with that lightning pace, him and a Bamiyang like I had together are absolutely crazy. He will contribute with assists as well. So he's going to get you assists as well as goals, which is always what you want. Is he worth the coins? He's going to drop in price. So pick him up then. So let's view overall what I've thought about. And this guy's absolutely lightning quick. That 98 pace is absolutely amazing. He's got clinical finishing when he gets the chances. And his long shots are amazing as well. His dribbling ability is right up there. And he's got amazing agility and balance. The only thing that I don't like about him is that he's not the strongest guy out there. So he's going to get bullied a bit. But overall, give him an 8.75 out of 10. A nice surprise that came onto my radar when I saw the card, but definitely one that I will continue to use. So that's it for you guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.